Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is your brother Ismail Buluk here for the Daily Reminder Now today I want to discuss about the heart We always spend our time caring about our appearance Caring about our health, which is good But that's what we focus on We spend a lot of time trying to be healthy Making sure we look our best But what about our hearts? This is where everything comes from This is where our faith is from the heart This is where our true belief comes from the heart and Allah mentions that not only is it where uh, our belief is it's where we can get pure and true satisfaction and content from Allah tells us in the Quran referring to this remembrance this dhikr of Allah this remembrance of Allah and the effect it has on the heart when he says الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبُ Indeed, with the remembrance of Allah, do the hearts feel content, satisfied. So this is showing us the benefits of this dhikr. But how many of us, we don't spend our time on the dhikr. We forget these kind of basic adhkar in the morning, the du'as in the morning and the evening, the reading of the Qur'an when we can. The smallest du'as that we're supposed to do in the things we do on our daily basis, we forget them. All of these come under dhikr. And we know the best dhikr is the Qur'an. How many of us, we don't even spend five or ten minutes reading the Qur'an? Five or ten minutes. But we spend hours and hours on Facebook or watching TV or whatever it may be. And Allah describes those people who constantly remember Him, constantly think and ponder and remember Allah when He says in the Quran, رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلًا سُبْحَانَكَ فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ Allah says, those who remember Allah when they are standing, when they are sitting and when they are lying, lying down and they ponder and reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth and they say, O oh, our Lord, surely did not create this for no purpose. Glory be to you and save us from the punishment of the fire. So this shows us the status of those and should encourage us to be of those who remember Allah. And going back to the heart, Ibn al-Qayyim al jawzi the great scholar and student of the Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn al-Qayyim said that the heart is of three types. Firstly, the living heart. And this is the heart that loves Allah and obeys Allah and loves everything that Allah commanded and stays away from all of that which was forbidden, stays away from the shirk, stays away from the kufr. This is the first category and the best obviously of the, all the hearts, the living heart. Then he said the second category is the dead heart. And this is the opposite of the living heart. It goes and strives for evilness and for shirk and for kufr. And it likes all that which is evil and bad and is forbidden. And it dislikes all that is upon tawheed and iman and goodness. And then he went on to the third category. This is a very category I really want us to focus on. Because, and I talk about myself here, if we look at the third category, maybe most of us will fall into this. And we ask that Allah makes us be of those who has the living heart. And he said the third category is the heart that is the unhealthy heart. So it's not fully living and it's not dead. It's unhealthy. And he said, what is it? He said it is the heart that does love Allah and does do good deeds and does strive, and does lean towards Allah, but at the same time, it leans towards aspects of kufr, it leans towards the forbidden, it leans towards evilness. So sometimes it will be going this way to the good, and sometimes it will be going to the bad. And if we look at the reality, most of us, brothers and sisters, we may find ourselves, if we judge ourselves, that we are falling into the final category. So this should be a wake-up call for myself, and for all of us, to increase in the remembrance of Allah, to strive to be of those who have the living heart. And Ibn al-Qayyim also went on to say, and this is what I want to finish on really, he went on to say, how can we uh, polish our hearts? He said the heart is like a piece of metal or silver. It becomes rusty. And the only way to 
remove the rust, which in our case will be the sins, the sins, the rust upon our hearts, is by polishing it with the dhikr of Allah. So this is really was just a short reminder for all of us, inshallah, to increase in the dhikr of Allah and strive to be of those who remember Allah abundantly. And Allah says in the Quran that those who remember Allah abundantly, they will receive much reward. And until I join you next time on the daily reminder, this is your brother Ismail Bullock. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.